Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss Maths Olympiad test paper for class 4, year 2020, set B. Kids, this is part 2. I have already uploaded part 1 of this test paper in previous video. Question number 1. A pasta recipe requires 3 by 11 gram of cheese. Another pasta recipe requires 8 by 11 gram of cheese. How much cheese is required in second recipe than the first recipe? Kids, second recipe requires 8 by 11 gram. And first recipe requires 3 by 11 grams. So what is the difference between them? 8 by 11 minus 3 by 11. 8 minus 3 is 5. So answer is 5 by 11. Option A, 5 by 11 gram. Question number 22. Sachin has rupees 37,683 in his bank account. After two days, he withdraws rupees 13,435 from his account. Finally, he deposited rupees 1,823 in account. How much amount of money is in Sachin's account now? In this question, first Sachin has rupees 37,683 in his bank account. And then he withdraws rupees 13,435. So how much money is left now? We subtract 13,435 from 37,683. And answer is 24,248. Let's subtract. If we borrow 1 here, it is 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. It is 7 now. 7 minus 3 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So now he has 24,248 rupees. Again he deposited 1,829 rupees. Let's add. And now answer is 26,077 rupees. 8 plus 9 is 17. Carry over 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry over 1. 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6. And 2 here. 26,077 rupees. Answer is option B. Question number 23. Anju plants 24 saplings in each of the 16 rows. How many saplings did Anju plant? Given that he plants 24 saplings in 16 rows. Each rose has 16, 24 plants. That means how many total plants are there? 24 multiplied by 16. 6 fours are 24. Carry over 2. 6 twos are 12 plus 2. 14. Here 0. 1 fours are 4. And 1, 2 is 2. This is 4, 8 and 3. So our answer is 384. Option D. Question number 24. Tarun had 250 kilograms flour in his shop. He sold 1 by 5 of it on Monday. And 1 by 10 of 8 on Tuesday. How much total quantity of flour did he sell in the bo in both the days? First he had 250 kilogram flour. And he sold 1 by 5 of it on Monday. So 1 by 5 of 250 is 50 kilogram. And one by, next day he sold 1 by 10. So 250 multiplied by 1 by 10 is 25. As we divide 250 by 10 is 25. So how much total quantity he sell? 50 plus 25 equals 75 kilogram. Answer is option B. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 कार्तिक फोल्डेड अ रेक्टेंगुलर नैपकिन अलोंग द डॉटेड लाइन एज शोन फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द पैरामीटर ऑफ द नैपकिन आफ्टर फोल्डिंग एंड बिफोर फोल्डिंग दिस नैपकिन इज गिवन एंड द ब्रेथ इज 19 सेंटीमीटर एंड द लेंथ इज 25 सेंटीमीटर सो व्हाट इज द पैरामीटर ऑफ नॉन फोल्डिंग ऑफ द नैपकिन बिफोर फोल्डिंग स्टेज इट इज 25 प्लस 25 एंड 19 प्लस 19 This is 88 centimeter. Parameter of this rectangle, this napkin is same before and after folding because only shape is changed. This this side is equal. When this side is here, this is all again six centimeter. Will be six centimeter here. So only shape is changed. So difference between this. Nap parameter after folding and before folding is zero. Question number twenty-six. Manya walked four hundred sixty-five kilometer in the month of July. If she walked same distance on each day, then find the distance she walked in one day. She walked four hundred sixty-five kilometer in the month of July, and there are thirty-one days in the month of July. On each day, she worked 465 divided by 31. If we divide 461, 465 divided by 31. 31, 1, and here 5. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. This is five, and thirty-one multiplied by five is one hundred fifty-five. Thirty-one fives are one hundred fifty-five. So he walked fifteen kilometer each day. Answer is option B. Question number twenty-seven. A shopkeeper sold eighty-five pans in a month. If the cost of one pan is rupees four hundred eighty. Then how much amount of money did he earn in the month? He sold eighty-five pens in a month, and the cost of one pen is rupees four hundred eighty. So how much amount? Four hundred eighty multiplied by eighty-five. Five zero zero. Five eight are forty. Zero. Carry over four. Five four is at twenty plus four two at twenty four. This is zero. Eight zero zero. Eight eight is at sixty four. Carry over six. Eight four is at thirty two. Thirty four. Thirty two plus six is thirty eight. Here thirty eight. Let's add. Zero. This is again zero. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus two is zero. Ten. Carry over one. Three plus one is four. Forty thousand eight hundred rupees. Forty thousand eight hundred. Option A. Answer is option A. Question number twenty-eight. A restaurant can accommodate five thousand two hundred guests. If there are one thousand two hundred five adults and one thousand eight hundred twenty children in the restaurant, then how many more guests can be accommodate in the restaurant? There are total one thousand two hundred five adults and one thousand eight hundred twenty children present there. So let's add. This is five. Zero plus two is two. Two plus eight is ten. Carry over one. So three thousand twenty-five adults and children are there, and the capacity is five thousand two hundred guests. There, five thousand two hundred guests can accommodate. So let's subtract this five thousand two hundred minus three thousand twenty-five. Now there, ten minus five is five. Here it is nine. Nine minus two is seven. Here this is one. One minus 
zero is one and five minus three is two. Two thousand one hundred seventy-five guests can be accommodate. Answer is option A. Question number twenty-nine. If the cost of four dozen bananas are rupees ninety-six, then what is the cost of one banana? Cost of four dozen banana. How many bananas are there in four dozen? Twelve multiplied by four because one dozen is twelve. Twelve so multiplied by four is forty-eight. Total forty-eight bananas cost rupees ninety-six. The cost of one banana is ninety-six divided by forty-eight. And forty-eight multiplied by two is ninety-six. So the cost of one banana is two rupees. Option B. Answer is option B. Question number thirty. The cost of some snacks are given below. If Harshi bought two cupcakes, five patties, three cold drinks, and three muffins, then how much she has to pay? He bought two cupcakes. The cost of one cupcake is rupees fifty. So two cupcakes are rupees hundred. Fifty plus fifty is hundred. So this is hundred. Five patties. One patty is rupees twenty-five. So five patties is twenty-five multiplied by five equals one hundred twenty-five. Three cold drinks. One cold drink is rupees fifty. So three cold drink is fifty multiplied by three. That means it is one hundred fifty. One hundred fifty and three muffins. Cost of one muffin is three thirty rupees. Three is thirty multiplied by three is ninety. If we add ninety plus one hundred plus one fifty plus one twenty five, total cost is four hundred sixty five rupees. Answer is option D. Kids, if you understand this question, please like the video. Question number thirty one. The given graph shows the number of toys five children have. Which of the following statements is incorrect according to the given information? Statement A: Ankur and Rajat has same number of toys. Ankur has fifty, and Rajat also has fifty toys. So this statement is correct. Bharat has twice as many toys as Amit. Bharat has sixty, and Amit has thirty. And sixty is twice of thirty. So this statement is also correct. Rajat and Mohit have ninety toys all together. Mohit has forty toys, and Rajat has fifty. Forty plus fifty is ninety. So this statement is also correct. Statement D. Amit has maximum number of toys. Amit has least number of toys. So this statement is incorrect. Our answer is option D. Question number thirty-two. Find the values of R multiplied by S divided by T plus Q. This question is given. Here, ninety-nine thousand four hundred sixteen is divided by eighty-six. Eighty-six ones are eighty-six. It's given. Then, if we subtract nine minus six is three, nine minus eight is one. We took four here. Again, it is divided. Here, it is written eighty-six. So, P is one. Eighty-six ones are eighty-six. Then, what? We subtract fourteen minus six is eight. So Q is this is eight. Q is eight. Now one here. Eight minus three is five. It is written. S is written here. That is six. So S is six. Five hundred sixteen divided by eighty-six. Let's try. 
36. If we multiply 86 by 6, we get 516. R is 6. P is 1. Q is 8. R is 6. And S is 6. Let's solve. R multiplied by S plus divided by P plus Q. 6 multiplied by 6 divided by P plus Q, 1 plus 8. 6, 6 are 36 divided by 9. 8 plus 1 is 9. And 9, 4 are 36. So our answer is option A, 4. I hope kids, you understand this question. It's very easy. Question number 33. Match the following and select the correct option. P is these are Roman numerals and first we write down the numbers. C is 100, M is 1000, D is 500, L is 50, X is 10, V is 5 and I is 1. The value of these numbers is this is 936 plus 428. Answer is 1364. And in column 2, this is 1337. So first we write down all of the numbers. These are 2 is connected to I. And in option A, and C. Q is connected to I. P is connected to 3. In both it is given. R is connected to 4. And this is in option C. So answer is option C. Question number 34. Study the alphabets of the word given below and answer the following questions. The word title is given. 1. What fraction of letters are vowels in the given word? Vowels are A, E, I, O, U. These words are called, these let alphabets are called vowels. So in this, wor in this word, I and E are vowel. And total of alphabets in the word is Five. Total 5 and 2 are vowels. The fraction of vowels is 2 by 5. So A and B can be our answer. Let's check up to 2. What fraction of letters are consonants in the given word? T and E are consonant that is 3. So 3 by 5 is cons consonants. So answer is option A. Question number 35. Select the incorrect statement. Option A. If any two sides of a triangle are equal, then the triangle is said to be an isosceles triangle. Yes, this statement is correct. And we have to find out the incorrect statement. Option B. If all the three sides of a triangle are equal, then the triangle is said to be an equilateral triangle. Yes, this statement is also correct. Option C, I square has all its sides of equal measure. Yes, this is correct. Option D, a rectangle has all its sides of different. So this is incorrect statement. So this answer is option D. A rectangle has two sides equals. These two sides are equal and those, these two sides are equals. Answer is option D correct. Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe.